We got a handful of games for you guys here. And uh, like I said, we're starting with grid four. So I guess let's just jump right into it. The menu feels really awesome just right off the bat. Um, I don't think I showcased it, but on the main menu, like moving the right stick, this is done with controller, but moving the right stick will uh, kind of like shake the screen a little bit, and that's pretty cool. Um, we've gone through and played some of these levels already. It looks like you start with reboot and then you sort of unlock. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was just double checking we were live here because I haven't seen it over here. Yeah. But, uh, okay, perfect. Um, oh, there we go. And it, it's it's all good. So, so that that center one is actually the very beginning. I actually unlocked a few things because uh, one of the things that we noticed from uh, guy Allen is he's a diehard fan of this type of game. <laughs> yes, yeah, and like he. A probably made it harder than he, he could have. That was a little my criticism for him. Yeah. Sorry, you don't necessarily see me off screen, but I'm James Casey, I'm one of the professors here at DMU. And so yeah, so this is the first level. Why don't you try this? And okay, so <laughs> every level has objective and failure. Kill tanks, we're and, out of time. Yes, right, gotcha. easy, right? Tanks are yellow, keep yeah. that in mind. Tanks are yellow. Right, right. everything on here has a reason for it. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then basically hit OK, got it when you're ready. What does a tab correlate to on the controller? I don't know. You don't, I'll, I'll guess I, you back. You don't really need yeah. it because it has yeah. it has Easy stuff enough. that will show you how you're doing. All so right. go ahead and OK, got it. Uh, before I embarrass myself, yes. uh, I've, I don't play these kind of games. You don't play <laughs> So we'll so see how this goes. the left stick moves, the right, right stick, stick shoots. shoots. All That's right. all you really need to know. Near automata. That's yes. what I got. Um, <laughs> hit play. It's basically the same thing. It was okay. just making sure you were good to go. Oh, that was cool. That's All right, so now, yes, yeah, so you move oh, around. Okay. And then shoot. So you want to shoot those oh. yellow things until they go away. All right, I got you. That's your tanks. That's what you're getting rid of. Okay, they're yep. firing some sort of lasers, or is that the spawn? That's just uh, kind of the spawn where they're, gotcha, where they're gotcha. coming from. And obviously, you can see they're going to throw a lot of other stuff at you at the can same break time. The, okay, cool. You so see, you can break those. Man, this looks pretty. Oh, it is amazingly it, pretty, isn't it? The and use it, of it, the uh, the grid in the background kind of helps, like showing like that warpy, spacey it's feeling. Really fluid too. Yeah. Right? Like, how does it feel playing? Right. Uh, if like yeah, no, fluid is a really good. Oh, oh man. That's okay. Dying yeah. in this level is not bad. Uh, you may not notice it because you're playing the game, but and, and you may be able to see it in the. Uh, Stream or not, because you never know with these things, right? But at the bottom of the oh, screen, man. there is a green and a red line that shows you how well you're yeah. doing. The red line okay. is time, which you're running desperately out of, and the green is your your goal, which you are almost halfway through. So, yeah. I am going to guess you're not going to beat this, yeah. it on this first That's try. That's fine. This is just the uh, me getting used to it. That's all. Right. That's fine. Okay, so you failed. Nothing wrong with that. 60%. Man, this is enough to show me that yellow bar. That's just right, insulting. isn't that? That's, just, that's rubbing it in your face. Um, but yeah, it gives you it gives you some information, and now you can. Uh, um, yeah, they it, yeah. It didn't finish it. But, and try it again. Yeah. See how you do now. Give it a shot. There it goes. All right. So all right. So they get down uh, to the small ball. ball. Okay, I'm gonna do both of those while you're doing that. Oh, you got that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that when you die so it doesn't mess up the game. Cool. I know you're going to die. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably right, but uh, I feel like I'm doing better so far already. Uh, yeah, no, you're ahead of the game. Your green is above your red, so as long as you keep that up, you're actually going, you're doing much better. These little... Uh, Lombus? Yeah, those Thing, things are a pain. The flying Sims icons are uh, You're doing pretty good. What was it damaging me the most? Really close. Oh, oh all right. While we're doing that, I'm going to increase your mic. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I can just pause. It's a little cool. um, it said, what did it say? Desktop. It's not always fun. Game volume's too loud. Mic needs to come up. There we go. So that should be okay. All right, let's try that. All right. Worst case, just enunciate a little bit more. All right, keep trying. Yes, enunciate. So the third right. time is when I did it when I played uh, yesterday and third tried it out. Okay. Oh, oh, what was nope, that? Nope, you like didn't. The... <laughs> okay, so I think I hit some. Oh no, I ran. You were time. super close. Look at that. Oh, come on. Look All at right. that. Super close. I'll get close. it. I'll get it. Oh my goodness. I am definitely gonna get this one. 
Alright, I'll do that. Let me sure I don't get overwhelmed by the, the blue guys yeah. here. Yeah, uh, worst case what I'll do is I'll turn it down even more. Turn it down, yeah. So I'm assuming that the purple ring around, leave me alone. So the that purple, purple thing is... around is if you go in it, um, it will eventually go away, it'll like blow up. It's, it's a, it's a yeah. thing for a different level, and right now you don't really need it, so it's just kind of there. But it'll blow up, and I think it takes other things away at the same time. So it's kind mm. of a nice little. But you have to stay in it for a quick sec. <laughs> Does Which, it damage me, or just the things? No, around? no, it doesn't damage you at all. Oh. So it's, it's fine to go in it gotcha. as long as you don't hit the center. There you go. See, there look. There we go. Third time. Nice. Evenly. That's nice. very impressive. When I Good. first played it, it took me much more attempts than that. So you, you had a great first game. Nice, nice. First set of games. <laughs> it only gets harder from here. I yes. Imagine. All right. So. So now the next one up is Calibration. That calibration. would be the second one you would normally play. Like I said, open it yeah, up. Yeah. But go ahead and try Calibration and see how you do. Are, are these uh, reflective, the little icons here reflective of what the game is going to be? or? Yes and no. Okay. So try uh, try Calibration, for example. All right. I don't know why it's called that, but it basically survive you have time. to survive, <laughs> survive. Okay. and not die. You can kill things, you can run around, it doesn't really matter, as long as you survive the time. Gotcha, so gotcha. don't die. And I, I think you can die twice. twice. Is that what that means? I think that's okay. what that means. It's, if I remember, that is correct. So hit play, and just don't die twice. Okay, great. Easy enough, right? Don't die twice. You know, <laughs> the bar feels low, but also much taller than me at the same time, just from that. It's like a false sense of security this is trying to put me into right now because I wasn't too bad, but I can tell. Oh yeah, they're coming in a lot more frequently now. Oh, okay, well I, I broke the rules. <laughs> I think they thought that was game audio. Unfortunately, that was oh, the one thing yeah. that uh, that was the one thing that Alan did not get around time to do uh, in this game. So. Yep. Uh, this game, for example, this game was part of our capstone course, which was normally a year long. This was actually his first semester, and so this is only actually a, a technically, you know, a vertical slice or alpha or whatever you want to call it. Right. But he'd done a little bit of work on the base systems previously, and what I did is allowed him to start from scratch on it and redo it. And okay. so you can see it's actually really good for a first semester uh, First game. semester, one student game. Yes, yeah, no exactly, kidding. right? And so... And what's really interesting is, even though it's based on Geometry Wars, it has a lot of cool concepts that you don't necessarily see in those games. Yeah. Good and bad. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, all right. So I'm going to turn right. down the background uh, music just a tiny bit more uh, when you die. <laughs> when I die. Right. Or when you beat the level, because you're doing Wh much better. Whichever outcome we get. That's yeah. right. So, and again, this is just... This is all about just surviving, and so far you're doing really good. So far, you want to be careful not to jinx anything. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, you know oh. what? I, th I think the music became something a lot more chill. I think it's helping. Oh, okay. All right. Woo! In the right mindset. Nice. There we go. I'm going to turn it down just a slight bit while we're at it. Space Force won't hire me with that accuracy. But all right, we'll try that right. and see if it works. All right. Uh, try. Uh, what time is it? We are sitting at. 114. All right, try another level or two. Try the right. uh, like tax collection one, and I'll answer your question about tax uh, uh, that one. Because yeah. <laughs> you asked, you know, does it make sense? So oh, get one, coins. You're getting yeah. coins, All right. right? Gotcha. So uh, here's I the thing. I can't kill spinners. Yes. All right. So in this one, I like the preview. That's that's yeah, helpful. It, it, that's a good thing he had to yeah. add because even the colors are there, and that's nice. But if right. you don't know, you know, you still might not put that together yeah it pops up nice too like the window kind of expands up yeah. and down that's good yeah coins yep. all right good all right. so yeah you don't even need the right joystick <laughs> it's probably better that you don't use the right joystick probably. because uh, otherwise you might shoot something you're not supposed to all right and there's the uh okay yeah Task easy right evasive maneuvers you're just Understand. getting the stuff i wonder if uh if later on like power up and stuff came in like boosts you have um you have in some levels, not in this one, obviously, because you're not supposed to be shooting. Yeah. Uh, you have like a smart bomb that builds up over nice. time, based on how much you kill and, and if you've killed enough. Okay. But my only problem is I don't remember what it is on the controller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so sure. I never use it, which just makes it harder, I guess. Yeah. Um, but the nice thing about this level, and again, it's about balance. This level doesn't have a time limit. 
So at least at this point when you're collecting you. point, it's really just don't die, <laughs> yeah, which is yeah. good. Uh, and what you'll notice though is in some of the levels I didn't get through is the combination of objectives sometimes can be a little stressful. Um, yeah, that, that, there you go, got difficulty. it. I like that one a lot, actually. Yeah, that, that's a great set of uh, failure and win. It's just it's easy to understand. Um, so try add a price, the one right below it. Add a price. This is like an expansion. So now... There, now's the time and don't die, yes. but I can shoot. Yes, you don't have okay. to You don't have to worry about not you know, shooting things, which is good. Strategy. I wonder how this is determined. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good question. Honestly, I don't remember if we had a real reason for yeah, how that yeah. worked, but you know, I do like these charts. Though. Yes, it is a nice thing, and 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 the after uh, after screen where it shows you the stats is really cool too, right? Because it yeah, gives yeah. you information about how you played. So try this one out. This is again similar, but now you get to shoot. All right, taking the fight back to them. Right. What I actually found really interesting about this is... You can shoot the coins. Yes, don't oh, shoot the coins. I don't, don't think you get credit for them if you shoot them. So that's the only thing bad about shooting. Okay. Is it actually? I think it actually even takes them away from you. Oh, man. All right, so that shoot when you're in a pinch. Yeah. But other than that, mostly the same. Yeah. Gotcha. I'll double check. When I played, I just kind of ran around and... Just yeah, clarification on that from the menu would be a little bit nice. Yeah, but, but uh, okay. I also don't know if that's fully true. So you can. Uh, well, I love how the coins though can get knocked around time. by the other. Yeah, it's it's cool, and then it's also like really. Sometimes freaky. it just knocks coins into you, and sometimes you're just screwed. Yeah. There we go. See, not bad. Not for Overall, sure. Overall, pretty decent. Oh, um, okay. The timeline. Yeah, it kind of shows what you were doing. Kills, kills and uh, how you were doing. So these are like, a, loss. yeah, it's like a cumulative kill thing. It's not like a kill rate. Yeah. Okay. And, and you can see during that game, for the most part, you were always pretty close on the uh, failure or win. Yeah. Right? Until the end, obviously, when you won. So. Lucky me. Yep. And now if you want to try one of the ones I didn't get through. <laughs> any of the ones on the outer? Yeah, pick any of the ones on the outers and just see how you do. Uh, you, so you did this one, it looks like. Yeah, I did do that. No, well, actually, no, I don't. I might not have. Uh, yeah, because beating this would unlock this yeah, as well. Yeah, so. I think so. Uh, yeah, it's hard to remember. We'll try... Moats is uh, okay. That one's not too bad. I would try that one. Okay, we'll do moats. Collect moats, which are... They the white basically things. pop up when you kill stuff. All right, so... so all right, it's, so it's basically drops. like re remnants of what yeah. you kill. Okay. And, and just, just don't, don't die. die. <laughs> and this, this one, I think you can only die once, so... And again, if you go into that little... Um, Orange thing, it will eventually just you know as long as you don't hit the center point, right, it will go away. Thing, but yeah. yeah, see the little white thing. All right, and you can get. get close, and they'll sort of tractor beam yeah. into you. All right, good, good, good. The good, thing good. to remember though is, don't do that. Well, yeah, don't uh, do that. <laughs> the moats are going to disappear over time. They, okay. So you do have to get them fairly quick after yeah. they've played with them, right? I kind of want to see how long they last. Well, try them out. Just kill those guys, All and right. you'll see they'll stay there for a little bit. But eventually, when and you I notice that they'll just go away. So you, all right, there, there. All right, yeah. so that's kind of more generous than I expected based off of the difficulty of the rest. Well, well what's really interesting is if you play these types of games, right? You you get in this pattern of oh like, goodness. <laughs> yeah, see, you have to you have to like all in right. that case you would usually shoot one corner out yeah. so you can get outside of it. Yeah. But usually you're you're shooting and going away from the mob, but then you're leaving all the moats behind. Right. So that becomes a whole different kind of. Now you have to go back to where the mobs are and hope you kill them all. <laughs> I bet I could see how long does that take. Okay, so that's almost instantaneous. Yeah, it's it's uh, really quick. So I could probably bad. use those to break out if I need to. Yeah, usually what I would do is just shoot towards a corner and yeah. then kind of vary your pattern a little bit, and it breaks a hole. Right. So as soon as you start to see that kind of coming, pick a corner and just go towards it, essentially. Ah, and the usually one. the one you're headed yeah. towards, because that, that's just the easiest way. Yep. All right. So we'll do one or two more, and then we'll switch games. Yeah, give it a shot. I feel like I can beat this one. But for those listening in or those who are on there, um, the uh, these are all games that came out of our senior expo, so they're all from our yes. capstone class. Uh, Paul here, oh, wait, am I, did I get your name right? No, you're right. Okay. Yeah, you're I don't good. know why, like when I said <laughs> that, I was like, wait, yeah, I'm like, good. darn it. Uh, um, Paul here is actually from one of the capstones, uh, and we're going to see one of his games actually in a minute, um, which 
I'll have cool. uh, more to say on that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's really cool is we allow, of course, uh, our, our students to create groups. This, this is a one-man game, uh, so it's a little different. But uh, uh, Paul chose some folks. Did you know everybody before you came in? Uh, everybody on my team? Yeah. No. I, I didn't even join in like from the beginning. I got pulled in. Oh, I joined the on the second semester. So. Gotcha. Uh, most of the groundwork had already been laid, so I was just sort of like on call for most of my experience. <laughs> so, like this next semester is when I'm gonna uh, really. Ah! Oh, jeez. Fifty percent. All right, I'll give it one more shot, okay. and then and then just cut it. See what I can get. So, in this next semester is when you kind of do something yeah. additional. Are you so you're joining a new group essentially? I'm looking to create a group because I have oh, okay. I have a good idea, or what I think is a good idea. Gotcha. That I really. Uh, need the benefit of programmers and artists right <laughs> and so yeah so we have the the groups kind of form out of different yeah. folks and your background is more audio right yeah uh yeah i focus on music and uh i'm trying to get into storytelling but most of the work i'm familiar with is audio gotcha and so since we have everybody from all those disciplines in the in the program it's really nice they can make nice groups they can kind of get everything they need and you get this really crazy kind of mix of different types of games coming out of there, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, there, there's so many different uh, projects. It's hard to even keep track of like what all your peers are doing. Right. Even. Like, <laughs> like uh, I, I work with uh, Alan oh. uh, outside of classes, and uh, you know I, we know each other fairly well, and uh, I had no idea that this was even a, a project. Right, here, so. right. Uh, there's not a, a lead. Uh, I don't think so. Hit the continue. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's it. Let's see if it, this will work. No. No. Uh, we'll yeah, just we'll, yeah, we'll pop out. Uh, let's go to the desktop, and then down at the bottom, and yeah. just close it down. So we're gonna switch to another game. So that was Gridform by Alan Sherber. You may have actually seen him yesterday. They did some uh, talks uh, in the Indicade yesterday. Go ahead, yeah. And turn that off. Uh, just pause it or stop it because we won't cool. need it for the other games. You want to do Poltergeist or Poltergeist next? Because I guess game. so. Tony's uh, gonna. Yeah, you won't need the joystick for that. So. <laughs> Tony's gonna lose it. Yeah. But uh. So go ahead. Uh, did you double click it? No, nah, just starting it now. Yeah. So this is the game I worked on. Uh, was fortunately taken on after most of the heavy lifting had been done. Um. Probably shouldn't hit continue. But no, you probably should have started a new game. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start from scratch. Okay. Do me a favor and click on this just so I can see. Okay, gotcha. Perfect. Good. Yeah. I want okay. to make sure the audio was looking good. That's all. I'm going to start a new game here. And then Maxbox. Perfect. Give them the idea. What is the game? What is... Who are we seeing in our life? Give us a little background. We're seeing Eula Jean. Uh, it's a game that's filled with puns. It's uh, very clearly inspired by Paper Mario games and stuff like that. It's a point-and-click style thing where, you know, you're playing as Eula Jean and you... Um, if I'm remembering correctly, and I'm, I'm probably going to butcher this because it's, it's been a while, um, but you, uh, I think you're a co-owner, or you have some uh, some yeah. entity ties to this That's location, correct. and you are uh, trying to support it from helping this third character whose name is escaping me right now. Yeah, basically, and again, if I remember correctly, I wasn't. This was not not my class, but I, yeah. I attended their finals and stuff. I saw your pitch, so I at least got that right. Yeah. Um, so Eulogene is it works at the Nada Bar, which is this uh, yes the Nata spirited bar. Uh, bar, and they they have a food critic coming in soon, and they want to make sure everything is uh, tip top for the food critic, very high stakes, mm -hmm. if you will, kind of a plot, but it's it's really like you said a point and click, right? Like those old school adventures that everybody loves. So uh, in this case, we're getting a little bit of uh, expositional dialogue. Um, and essentially, we're going to read through it and let you see it as we go through. So, go ahead and uh, so good morning, not a bar. Happy yes. to see you. You want to read Eugene. it? Yeah, I'll, I'll give right, it a shot. You. Good morning, not a bar. Happy to see you're all still standing. Time to see what Hector needs. And so, in order to change locations, you got to click on the arrows at the sides of the screen. Uh, yeah. You can't click and freely walk around, but you can move toward any any object or location of interest. So you can visit anything where the cursor gets replaced with this exclamation mark and click it again to interact with it. Uh, you must have missed this while cleaning up yesterday. I'll wipe it down after talking to Hector. Sure. 
Let's just continue to associate with all of the patrons. Hey, little buddy. Sorry, cute as you might be, <laughs> dust bunnies have no place in a well-running establishment. I'll have you cleaned up. After. That's that's cute. I like the dust bunnies. Yeah, and the, the the graphics, the whole type of thing is just really great. It's got a, a nice aesthetic to it. So yeah, I, uh, I, I think Hector's actually on the right side. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I'm just kind of looking playing over with everything, making, yeah. making sure I'm not missing anything. Yep. It's probably all just going to be the same kind of. Uh, well, you're going to have to do all after. this. Trust me, I, yeah. I did that myself. <laughs> all right. All right, then I'll just move right along. Um, yeah, no, the environment. I know a lot of the art was done by uh, by Ian. Um, a lot of this is really good. Uh, the the 2D sprites and mix in with some 3D objects looks really neat. Uh, the telephone slash ceiling lights are all good. Um, I like this guy in the back. <laughs> uh, he looks he looks miserable. Uh, <laughs> use the rag. All right, so you can. Yeah. All right, gotcha, gotcha. Got the item. Nice. Wipe curse with dry lips, willing to drink any spells. Nice. Mood. All right, let's go ahead and go talk to Hector over here. Morning, Hector. How's everything? Uh, just the normal chaotic <laughs> preparation, ma'am. Once I finish up orga organizing the ingredients, the drinks, and prepping the counter area, I'll start cleaning up the remaining junk. I can take care of that one, Hector. So what else needs getting done? We have uh, some spills and a bit of dust. Anything else? Hmm. Mm, yes, that should be everything, ma'am. Okay, but what else? If you could, please also get the dishes laying around. Sure thing, no problem, Hector. The cleaning supplies should be close by. Look around for anything that stands out. And then to pick up an item, click on the overworld, and Eulogene will add it to her inventory. So, a um, few notes there. I really love Hector. I think Hector... I, I mean, obviously I love the design of all the characters, but Hector is the one that stands out to me the most. Yeah. Uh, and I know that he becomes like not only like that character, you know, as a character, but it's also functionally the the save point, I believe. Yes. So you can contact him throughout the game to save, yep. and just rattle his head a little bit since he is a phone man. Um. So I believe I just now that I have this, I can go pick up a dirty dish. Uh, and then <laughs> use the best dishwasher I know. So I believe I can just go in here. And wipe. Uh, nope. See mm. now, but what's what's good is you're exploring, right? Yeah. So those go to Hector. The right. rag is for those nasty green spills gotcha, gotcha. on the table. But you were right. Yeah. You do need to use it, which is a common staple of this type of game. Uh, before I go, though, so dishes. I can hand them dishes. You can pick them up and hand them back. I got it covered. All right, so yeah. it looks like I have to just stand here and then do it? Yes, you, you basically go into gotcha. your inventory, give the dirty glass. Yeah. Stop by with the meat delivery. To a All right, so I can probably yeah. gather many items in one go and then yes, bring it back. Yes, that's the best thing. Oh, and it's going to bite the dust. Shoo them away. All right, gotcha. We'll take care of all those guys. So now you can kill those poor little cleaning. defenseless dust bunnies. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? All right, so this is... So the, the text remains the same, but I can wipe it. There you go. There we go. Making progress. Yeah, go get these guys. All right, I can clean this. F oh, oops. Yep. I can clean this <laughs> for sure. Perfect. One more line around. It's right over here. Luckily, it glows. Yeah. I'm such a fool. It's like four <laughs> times. All right. Uh, let's go pick this up. This one, you do click on it. Yep. All right. I'm getting the order of actions correct. Uh, but yeah, I mean, for a point and click, that's all about how you basically, you know, yeah. discover, right? It's all about uh, figuring out what you can do. And that poor dust bunny is on stage having fun. Let's see if I can ruin that. Oh, poor got guy. Got him. All right. <laughs> poor guy. I think, yeah, okay, perfect. Now Escorted you just got this. from the premises. All right. I can click on him and execute. There we go. Eulogene is heartless. <laughs> <laughs> Poor girl. And Duster is effective. Oh, and it's all the dust all. bunnies, got uh, all the got things, all those... so now I can yeah, go I think you're done. to Just... good old Hector. Gotta... Oops. Whoops, went too far. <laughs> Give him those dirty glasses. All right. The floral arrangements. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. You're too kind. 
Yeah, I'm having your problem now. I just skipped through it. Right, right. All like, right. That's the problem, right? Yeah. Like, we read really <laughs> yeah. fast, and so at, at home, we don't know. If, yeah. But that's fine. It's. I think they get most of the point. Yeah. Uh, most of these aren't, aren't long, so it's not yeah. terrible. Sorry I wasn't able to get to them earlier. Hector, please, you're only one man. I'm happy I could get them for you. All right, that feels like it should be everything, so yeah, now I need to figure um, out the next step, which is either yep. talk to him again or... Yes. Okay. Uh, so it was no what trouble, else anything else to do, to do basically, yeah. Any okay. ingredients I need picking up? Any extra decor to place around? How about the bills? Yeah, let me just uh, yeah, provide me every service available. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what does Hector do? You've done, You've so, done so, yeah, so much exactly. already, ma'am. I think I can handle the rest. <laughs> We had those flyers printed out. Here, I'll spread them around oh. town. That'll surely get business booming. Man, please, I'm sure I can get... Hector, you got to stop trying to do everything yourself. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't think he's trying to do everything by himself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it won't take much time, I promise. I'll be back in a giffy. Jiffy? Jiffy. I'll be back in a jigiffy. Jigiffy. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Uh, oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. see you in a jiffy. Here, take the phone, though. If you need anything, please give me a call. If you need to take a break, just call me and I'll write down your progress. And I'm not keeping the same accent every time. Yeah. Poor Hector keeps changing. Thanks, Hector. I'll be sure to give you a call if I need to save using... A word. phone. Oh, you got a phone now in your Did inventory. Did you detach that from your head? Yeah, apparently he has extra <laughs> phone heads. What is this not a bar? That's right? your that's your flyers, I'm pretty sure. There uh, you go. Perfect. perfect. Got it. All right. All right, so now uh, you have the flyers and I you have I everything. I think I can just go into the town. Yeah, I think so. I think you can leave. You can actually do more uh, stuff now. Just, yeah, go on out. Was that the correct thing? Where I oh, put this? oh, yeah. Why not put a flyer in the bar? Yeah, sure. So when you're in the bar, you know you're in the bar. Yeah, that would be helpful. Because it is not a bar. <laughs> it is cool flyer, though. That is Isn't that awesome? Neat. Yeah. All right, now let's leave. <laughs> All right, let's get on out. <laughs> Sure. Uh, yeah, we'll go Why ahead not? and head out. Ready to see? I don't think you are ready to see what the day is no, preparing it's, for it's you. No, it's a lot of stuff, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. All right, man, this looks really good. Right? Look at that. Uh, the color palette in this game is perfect. Uh, the lovely Angston Park. Foul beast, stay away! <laughs> what is it I have done to incur wrath from such demons of this plane's existence? Ooh, sounds like somebody met the local demon geese population. Uh, but side note, I worked on two games this semester that were like where geese were a focal point. Yeah, right. I don't understand why. I, I know goose. The on fascination the loose, right? with yeah, yeah. The fascination with geese lately. I apparently but. geese are big things. <laughs> oh, and this poor, uh, poor, uh, I guess demoness. Yeah. Getting taken over Panicking by a woman. I I send a course upon the <laughs> feathered beast. <laughs> For thou shalt suffer a featherless experience in the coming cold that shall be brought upon your kind. They're probably attacking you for that talking That wasn't panicky like that. enough, probably. <laughs> yeah. Hello there. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not okay. These Clearly. beasts won't leave me alone. Come on, Eulogene. That's insensitive. Uh, <laughs> why, are they leaving you? why aren't they leaving you alone? I don't know. I was just simply <laughs> taking notes when I stared at one of them and it started screaming at me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would do it. I beg your pardon? Looking at them will do it. If you ignore them, they won't bother you. At least that's how it works out for everyone else. I assume, Eulogene, you're ignoring them and just looking directly yeah, at them. Yeah, no, they, uh... we don't see them. <laughs> well, how do I get them to cease this infernal pecking? Uh, I'm sure I can find something. Well, I tell you what, yes. I have something called a duster. Ooh, I don't think that'll work. <laughs> that's all right. Oh, no, it's okay. just dust. Dang. What else do you have, though? It was pretty violent, so... The uh, flyers? I don't think... Maybe a rag. You wipe them down. Yeah, I'll, I'll try wiping them down. No, guess not. No. So I guess you got to find something. I'll then. throw flyers at them. No. <laughs> so my guess is you have to find All something. All right. Yeah. Oh, hey! This lawnmower that looks, looks like, it'll like do a the useful trick. thing. What do we have here? A hack and slash 30K, the wackingest lawnmower, built with the state of art motors, trimmers, and all sorts of gadgets. Or at least that's... When it was state of the art, I remember hearing that they had to do a recall on these things. Though had a nasty habit of launching things it cut up. Sounds, Sounds great. violent. Perfect for the demon geese. Wait, uh, how do I pick it up though? Uh, click on the that. I don't know. Hmm. If I clean it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. That's what point and click games always turn into. I know, into, right? right? Like you gotta remember. <laughs> All right, so um, so maybe you have to do something else. Yeah, maybe I'll just keep looking around. I'll talk to this ghostly man. 
Evening, Mr. Spookton. Oh, Spookton. The demon geese don't seem to be attacking you. Why is that? Well, it's my super special non-GMO oh, veggie keto menu grain A plus spooky bread. None or something works. like that. <laughs> I never really came up with the name myself, but the cuties just love the stuff. Well, it rolls right off the tongue. Uh, do you think I could have some? <laughs> they show us a lawnmower and that's it? Oh, maybe we... Oh, yeah. never mind. Haha, -ha, it's not for ghosts or any non-demon consumption for that matter. Trust me, I found out the hard way. What? I wasn't going to eat it. I think the lady over there could use it. I can't really tell if she'll like this or not from just looking at her. I don't know if any person would want to eat this stuff, save, of course, the demon geese. Spookton is so obtuse. That's not what I... <laughs> Here, I'll make you a deal, Miss Jean. I was planning on leaving soon, but that Don Cat took my walking cane. If you can get it back, I'll let you have as many loaf of breads as you want. Oh, I'll fetch you. Wait, there's a cat? Cane. I personally don't care what you do with them. I got plenty more back home. Just don't go making a sandwich out of these anytime soon. <laughs> I'm not trying to eat it. All right, All right so I gotta so go get that cane. A cat or, or a cane or something. Uh, arrow Where up here. Uh, 136. On. So we probably gonna switch to another game in a minute. But, right. But walk around and see a little more stuff while we're here. Why I'll not? see if I can find. Well, this there's a cat in the cane right here. But look at that tree. Is that, that tree is amazing. Charming. I like that a lot. Cloud, I heard you're, you've been getting up to some mischief. <laughs> oh, he knows. Yeah, he does yeah, know he did. Yeah, that, that cat. It's okay, buddy. Just give me the cane. What? Oh, man. <laughs> you are not going to make me climb this tree. You oh, rascal. now you have to do something. To get, see? And that's why point oh, and click is great. Gotcha. I, I know what to do. The, what did he say? The, uh, he climbed up. I know an object that launches nearby objects up. So you think, oh, wait, where did Longmar go? Oh, oh there it is. Whew. All right, good. Now nope, we still not here? yet. Not yet. That lawnmower feels like the solution to it all does, my problems. It does, right? <laughs> I, I know a secret, though, because I've seen your trailer. Yeah. There's a mini game involving the lawnmower shooting, I think, bread, bread and cookies yeah. or something like that. So eventually, that's, yeah, that's you're going to get too. there. But, uh, I, I mean, honestly, this game has so much content, though. You could play yeah. this, like, the entire honestly, time. Honestly, yeah. This, this, this is, uh, I mean, I am biased from working on yeah. it, but this is, uh, definitely worthy of cool well of uh we're gonna go ahead got and save a few more minutes so let's go yeah save and then uh let's uh, try out another game yeah and and some here. of your friends have actually been talking about uh uh the game and, and i'm getting compliments from tony on my uh, my voice oh good hey tony <laughs> shout out to tony <laughs> All right, let's exit that out. Uh, what do we want right. to do that? We have let's do Co in the Co let's yeah. go yeah Co in the transient heat this game Co. is amazing um Give it a sec to load up. Another great group. Uh, if I remember, they're called the Leftovers. I think. If I'm not. Uh, hold on. Team What's... Leftovers. Virus and threat. They were kind earlier. Oh, there we go. Perfect. That's right. fine. Yes, Team Leftovers. I was right. Okay. So, anyways, they're nice. People. They put our logo. They put their logo, which is amazing. That's a good logo. Isn't that great? Yeah. Uh, but. And you can hear it, right? The sound, yeah. like just it, everything is just polished about it from the menu forward. So hit space. Nice. Ooh, that's that's good, right? Isn't that just? It's got this amazing aesthetic oh, to man. it. So, um, why don't you do a new game? Because you probably want to hit the tutorial <laughs> right. and stuff. So, music is top notch already. The vibe and of hit it. Hit space. Working with the uh, the sound effects and everything. Yeah. And now it's going to, and just hit space to continue, gotcha. but it's going to walk you through everything you need. It's very classic WSAD, and, yeah. and it's one of those puzzles, you know, you got to move things around so you moves. keep going. Gotcha. When you hit zero, it's game over. Try to use as few moves as possible. If you need to restart a puzzle, hit R. This is a pushable block. Move in the direction where you want to push it, and it will move. Gotcha. This is a bridge. Your torch meter will reset when walking on. All right. Okay, gotcha. So crossing bridges is how you finish. Exactly. That's like the next level. All right. This is a breakable block. Hit space to break this block and move past it. Not that. All Perfect. Right. And this is a hole. You can push <laughs> blocks into the hole. Gotcha. Push them. Push them into dun, the dun, hole. Dun, dun, dun. All right. There you go. 
Good, 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 good. What is this? Ooh. It's a fire stone. I can activate it, and when I do, my torch meter will reset back up. Use these wisely. You can only use them once. So, yeah, so you oh. can push towards it and hit space. There you go. And now you have enough gotcha. to get out. All right, cool. These are interactables. To the left is an artifact chest, and to the right is an NPC. Hit space to interact with both of them. And after each one, you'll be prompted to choose from a set of dialogue options. Ooh. Oh, you can speed up the text. Yep. Okay. WNS, navigate through, hit space, again, to select one. All right. Oh, what do you want, is... Dumbo? Oh, my goodness. It's a baby woolly Aww. man. What brings you all the way out here <laughs> on this lone cubic land? Right. Ah, I see. What is your name? Yeah, where is your family? I want to start with that. Where's your family at? It doesn't hmm. say much. It's too dangerous to be oh, out here alone. It's I dangerous to go are. alone. True. I'll take the item behind me here in a minute. You got a name? Uh, All right. Uh, Co and Dots. Yes. Well, you know, m mammoths, they're not going to talk yeah. about it, so. <laughs> All right, continue. Cool. See you later, Dots. All right, what, then what do we get in the chest? All right, what do we get? It's a smaller Dots, it looks like. No, it's a rock. <laughs> no, it looks like a... All right, cool, yeah. It is a small Dots. Never seen the it's kind a of rock before. that looks like a woolly mammoth. It's great. Fairly heavy as well. Hmm. Peculiar. Let's there see. are far more peculiar things happening right now. So you inspect. Ah, see? There you go. This is an artifact. You can actually, I think, move it around even. Rotate. Oh, yeah. You're done. Hit space to return. And you can collect an artifact after you inspect it. Aww. That looks good. That looks good. This is <laughs> such a good way to just show off models. I'm, right? I'm such a fan of this. Hey, uh, cool. Alright, we'll take it. And then uh, just keep going. Find some I hope puzzles. I'm not like taking some treasure that's going to cause terrible things to happen. No, I think you're okay. I think I think <laughs> the people will be okay with it. You're now ready to continue the journey. Here's a few puzzles to try on your own. I've got 14 moves. I kind of want to plan through this without just rushing into it. Because um, pushing... Can you push these off? I'm going to waste a turn here. Oh, somebody had a question. Um... Right, you can't push them off. What's the question? So, so yeah, like what's interesting is um, it's the graphics is what they're asking about. So, uh, so they actually made this and it was really great. It was amazing it looking, too. like you know, I, not not necessarily PS one graphics. It was just really nice. But what they did is they then played with like shaders and things like that, and they basically created this old school kind of uh, pixel yeah. art, right? And, and so it's, it gives you a very different aesthetic, and it's one that really wanted to go for was that old school. Thing. And so all the technicalities of how they did and stuff, uh, you'd probably be better to ask them. And you know, right. we'll we'll show our website off that gives you links to the different people at the end of this broadcast before we go off the air. But uh, yeah, they did some amazing work to kind of give it that kind of look. I think you're stuck. Yeah, that's not the, that's <laughs> not the right solution. Uh, what I want to do is cover up that hole. Right. The question is how. So pushing that's not going to help me. No, it does help me. Yes. Gotcha. Refill. Oh. I'm a fool. <laughs> okay. All right. I think I got it. Yep. See, there you go. There you we learned go. it. Boom. And there that's that's a, the mark of a good puzzle. Yeah. Because even if it takes you a second, you really start to learn mm -hmm. what actually works and what doesn't. It reminds me a lot of those uh, like Nintendo esque boulder puzzles and like Pokemon and Zelda stuff. Yep, and they and they do the nice little hey, see the whole kind of level yeah. to give you a little idea, uh, and yeah, and then you just basically go through and, and play a few puzzles yeah. and uh, eventually, hopefully, get to go to the end of the the whole thing and save his village. And as you go mm. along, uh, you get you know additional artifacts. You get. Um, uh, people you talk to that give you a little more backstory about why Ko is doing this and why he has to take the flame, and you just kind of learn as you go, which is really cool. Um, yeah, for sure. What's interesting though is you know when you when you look at all the stuff they've done is they went through different iterations of a lot of the different UI elements um, as they went through. Technical level, like all of the fog and stuff in the background, which is meant to show height, also mm -hmm. is really good for just saving on resources. I think, I think, I think the one thing, like you know, like everybody learns, right? And everybody's got things to learn. Yeah. Um, 
I think if you took one way from this is even though this is the most amazing looking game, you got that great aesthetic, right? Yeah. The one thing you could say that would be, you know, an opportunity for them, for example, would be the fact that sometimes, uh, and you know, you don't necessarily see it now, but you saw it in that cutscene, mm -hmm. is you saw that there were, you know, like you had the ribbons at the top and the bottom. Yeah, yeah. And I think there's just a resolution thing where, like, now why are you seeing that? Like, why is it not just keeping that same aesthetic, right? And, right. But again, overall, you don't even notice it because the game is just so much fun, right? And that's that's yeah. the key. Yeah, uh, it it definitely has the indie feel, but it's uh, a lot of indie games, at least for me, kind of just suffer from being like not really interesting. But this one is is captivating for some <laughs> reason or another, right? Father, is that you? <laughs> yeah, right. It's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Rekindle our relationship. Yeah. Thought I'd check in with my... Well, thanks, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> I sent you on this dangerous quest. I mean, <laughs> I hope you can do this. Uh, good idle animation, too. It's kind of breathing. There, It does kind of snap back a little bit, it looked like, there at the end. I kind of want to look at that a little bit more. Yeah. There is a little bit of snap back, but uh, I think all in all, it's, I think it looks good. I like this kind of... Yeah. I'll do another one or two, and then back. we'll do the last game. So I think we're going to gotcha, do four gotcha. total for the stream. Uh, and then we'll do a, a final little wrap-up when it gets almost to two. Uh, and we'll show off the website that I know uh, Tony's been kind enough to send some of the links in there as well into cool, the chat, cool. which is great. Um, Patience. Oh, my God. Yeah, perfect, Dad. I'm trying to get the answer out of you, and the answer turns out to be patience. <laughs> I know it took you long enough to say it. He's forcing me to learn patience now, because now i got to listen to him say patience frequently. All right. Your wisdom is always invaluable. Thank you, Father. Now go, my son. Fill thy rite of passage. Throwing thighs like that? You better be careful. Frigid demise. But, before I go past something, how do I overcome... You know what? Oh, he actually said what I said. That's cool. Never mind. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to talk to you, Father. I need to get Wait, on. you're not going to talk to your dad? I'm a busy so man. Mean. Ever heard cats in the cradle? Oh, jeez. <laughs> sure the answer will follow. Anyway, safe travels and good luck. Thank you. I won't let you down. All right. I believe I have messed up. I died. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, you freeze. All right, so that's what happened out. to me. Yeah. All right, gotcha. Now, if you use the reset, you can always kind of avoid that, which is nice, but it's like, you know. Oh, that doesn't so you, yeah. you can totally just block yourself. Okay. Yeah. What is the solution here? Oh, I haven't been watching. I'll, I'll, mm. I'll help you out in a sec. I want to just break the rock, but that's not correct. I can't push my father off. Okay, mm. so... Maybe I do need this, to, to Reset him. it real quick. Okay, so you've got the rock. you got to move here. the thing. Yeah. Um, I can only push this forward because everything else is blocking me. Um, oh, okay. I feel like like that's the yeah that is to... right that's good that's the thing you can kind of rule out what works right so if you yeah. go so that rock up in the top right you're going to have to take out yeah but, but you can't have an, you don't have enough to do it so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to push the thing in the hole. At, think and then you move that yeah. that one over to the right so you can use the no start over again hmm okay push it over then go down push that over twice now go and use oh. that now come back around You're hit right. that and yeah. push down there that, you go. that Perfect. checks out yeah <laughs> i've done these enough yeah. times too because you know i have to play these <laughs> yeah. for the uh the grading so <laughs> you gotta you gotta get used to them all right let's, go to, the last, let's go to the last okay. game real quick we got like 10 minutes and I know they want us to kind of do a wrap up and make sure we gotcha, get our gotcha. site at the end so so yeah let's close yeah. that out this one's good I like this right a lot. It's, it's it's really well done um, it's okay. face and I think there's sure even to, a quit there I'm gonna so make sure to follow this team and see what they're up to there you go yes we, we don't really want to quit but we do because of time yeah <laughs> so the last one we're gonna do is witching hour so let's do that one the witching hour the that, witching that hour. sounds good the H is not capitalized though 
Oh, that was just me. No, that was you. Yeah, right. it, it's fine here. <laughs> Good. Um, great logo. Really interesting look at space. I'm interested in the music and right? setting. Uh, so danger radiation, but we're going to go ahead and enter anyway. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? Well, they're going to give us... Um, Go ahead and close the development thing if you can find it. Uh, no, so it takes a second to find out where it is. That was not what It'll I intended. Um, whoops. I think I might have made a mistake. That's fine. You're fine. You're in the game. Yeah, we'll just jump so, into it. So that was a cutscene, and the cutscene was all about the fact that as children you were playing and you decided, you, you know, you're hmm. kicking the ball around, and the ball went over this fence into this area where there are <laughs> witches. Radiation. And witches. now you have to figure out where your ball is and get it without back. Without getting caught. Without getting caught by these crazy, crazy witches All right, we and the radiation. So, oh, exhaustion. so you can see, it? yeah, you're caught. Oh, okay. But what if oh. I what if I escape into the bushes? Now, see, you're hidden and you're okay. Oh, all right, yeah. good. Good instincts. Yep. And it has just a little bit of map so you can kind of keep an eye on where you've been and what you're doing. I like that the map is like a pencil drawn. Right? It's like a kid. It's, yeah. It fits the aesthetic. So, you know, it's not really a fighting game. It's not really, like, that kind of stealth game. Yeah. It's, it's all about how do I figure out where to go and, and do mm -hmm. things. Now, I believe there usually is a tutorial, but for some reason this build did not trigger it automatically. I, I might but, have actually but skipped I, it. I think, you, um, I think you're figuring it out for the most part. Yeah. Uh, you do have the ability to run, um, but your stamina uses gets used up, that kind of stuff. So, But as you can see, you know, the eye was closed because you were not. Right. Yeah. So it's it's very simple. Uh, look to the right. I think that's where you need to go. Right down that middle. I think that's that where you need out. to go. Yeah. yeah, this isn't exactly scary, but it's relying on a lot of horror mechanics of, of yeah, the hiding and, and yeah. Non, and and, and not right now it's just enemy. kind of it's that first level, so it's like yeah. they want you to get used to the mechanics of yeah. it. These are my like usually my favorite kind of games too. It's, <laughs> it's just like going and hiding. Good uh, horror stuff. Five minutes before you need to do a quickish wrap up. Oh, right, okay, right. that's fine. Which is about timing. So we got about three minutes, I think, till we do a wrap up. So okay, that's that guy's fine. a little bit too close. Or two minutes, right? Don's going to tell us. So keep playing. Yeah. That's fine. All right, I'm really close to the ball. I'm just going to sneak up on this guy. Yeah. The hunter. So grab the ball. The hunter. But now <laughs> you got the ball. Now bring it back to your friends who are waiting at the entrance. She looks so happy. I have to continue. So now you got to get out of here. But the bridge is broken, oh. so now you got to go around. <laughs> Dirt bags broke the bridge. All right. Yeah, so you can't be tricky. You can't get out the same way you, you got in. So, And now the, now the key is, I want do you have a map that. sense to get out? I want that item. I don't know what that item is. So they have different things. That, and I, I, This is like a oh, man. Like sto soda. Straight out of Oddworld. Yeah. Um, some of them are bats that you can pick up. There's squirt bottles and things like that. I think that's a bat that you see out there. Oh, 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 run, run, no. I, I was exhausted. <laughs> no. And now you... I'm starting back here. Yes. Okay. You, yeah, they was are nice about that. You still need to pick up okay. the ball again, but you can get you out of there. I actually, check, make sure that, that is the... Okay, the bridge is still down. Yeah, bridge okay. is down, yeah. I think it goes down when I uh, yeah, pick when you, the item up. So. Yeah, it, it make sure like once you've gone on there one time that it, it breaks on you. And I, and I think it might do it even if you pick it up. So It looks like I got to keep the soda, though, between yeah, uh, did. resets. I'm trying to figure out how to use the item. Some of them auto-use and some you have to uh, click on it. Um, Maybe the soda will kick in automatically if I get exhausted or something. Yeah, I honestly don't. Oh, all right, get out, out of here! Get out of here. Oh Go. no! All right, yeah, combat's not the option. No, <laughs> I, I I ignored everybody. I I didn't even pick up items when I played this because it was just like you know what? It's just stealth. I'm just gonna stealth. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the places where I yeah. can hide. It did seem to use the soda because I don't have it anymore. So. Oh, uh, so it must have like done it automatically. It did something. I'm just not sure what that something was. Oh, okay. That's why I couldn't run earlier. So if you max out... Yeah, yeah, you gotcha. have exhaustion, so you can't do it too much. Um, gotcha. So the bat is like a one-time stun. And I believe it's actually even used automatically for you. Yeah, there give you me that, give me that, give me that. Oh, yeah, that. get back in there. <laughs> you are kind of going the right direction. 
I'm not, right. I'm not um, even kind of looking at the map. I think we're going to wrap up now. So you, you want to go ahead and, yeah, you didn't make it, unfortunately, back to the beginning. So let's go ahead and uh, hit exit. This one does look good, though. The, the you know, the presentation and, uh, you know, everything looks really good. Run away. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Run away. Like All right. Drag over that, um, that whole browser. This one? Yeah, that whole browser into it. Maximize it real quick and go back a page so we can see the senior. Okay. Okay. So this, go. anyways, this is... Um, this is game.gmu.edu, and also thank you to Paul for doing this. Thanks for um, having me. Yeah, he's from our capstone. He's, his game was showed off, but it was just nice to have somebody come in and play. I'm James Casey. I'm one of the professors here. Uh, we have a great program. You can learn all about our undergraduate and our grad degrees from this website. Uh, and, and Paul's just about to graduate very soon with a degree. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> but as you can see, we've got videos of previous graduations, etc. Uh, click on the Senior Expo 2021, the, the next tab. Gotcha. And go back one page. So everything that you saw here today, scroll back up to the top, can be found on our Senior Expo 2021 site, which I linked in the, the Twitch. And all the games are here. You can click on a particular game, like Find Yours. Um, so the one that I showed off earlier today? Yeah, do Poltergeist, Poltergeist yep. right here. It's going to basically give you all the information, what you need. It's going to let you mm -hmm. download it and play it, and it's got a trailer, and we have a, uh, a highlight video for all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to play it, we also have one for 2020, same, same kind of link. Um, it's the same thing, just instead mm -hmm. of 2021, it's uh, next tab. Oh, gotcha. And so you can actually play games from last year. Uh, and we have plenty of games from the previous years, but this was the first time we did it virtually and hosted them because of, of COVID, right. and it actually turned out to be great. So to be honest, I, I, it's, I think they want us to kind of wrap up and we were finishing it off. Um, you know, George Mason University has a great program. We also have a Serious Games Institute, which is what I'm also part of, where we uh, try to show that there's other jobs besides just working in the games, in the mm -hmm. entertainment industry. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out on the website, talk to any of our students. We can get you to, to any of these people. We have links for all of them. Play Check them. out Goose on the Loose. Yes, try out Goose on the Loose. <laughs> that was the other one you did, right? Yes. Yeah, that was like uh, that was a full game, a full class doing it together, yeah. right? Like full almost class. thirty that people, the, which is crazy.